Hi, my name's Neil Clark, and I am here in Barrio Verbena in Alavolita, just south of San Jose, the capital city of Costa Rica. It's one of the roughest barrios. Uh, most of the people, even the local people, don't want to come into this area. And this is an area that is majority Nicaraguan refugees. They've come here for a better life, fleeing something that was much worse than this but they're afraid to contact the police when there's any trouble. They're afraid to go to the local clinic because they don't have paperwork and they don't want to be found out. So this is an area, this is a pocket that very much depends on itself. It is very, very alone. Um, and God called me down here three years ago from Northern Ireland. When I came down here, I didn't quite know exactly what God had in plan or what even he wanted me to do. I just know that he called me and I listened to him and I followed him. I got down here and my main role for the first six months was leading teams, leading groups of American kids from churches, from colleges, leading them through these barrios, keeping them safe. And it was really after that first summer that I realized what God was calling me to do. Because as I walked through here with teams, um, I was a little bit embarrassed of myself that I didn't know the families, I didn't know the moms, I didn't know the stories behind these kids. Yes, I was loving on them. Yes, they, you know, knew my name and they all called me by name because I was like that crazy uncle or father figure. Um, but I knew that God was calling me to have a greater relationship with these kids. So after that first summer, I started coming in here on a daily basis and met these people with their arms wide open. Um, they invited me, accepted me into their houses and opened up like I, I was a family member. And really, you know, it was during that time that I figured out what God was calling me to do. And He was calling me to help these people. Um, a lot of these people won't ask for help, but going in and them treating me like a family member. Being down here on the missionary field can be very, very lonely. So this is where I'd come in my spare time and they were opening up their doors and acting like I was an actual family member or I was an uncle um, and treating me with such care and kindness that I knew that I had to help these people. So right now is what I do on a daily basis. I go into barrios like this and you know whether it's bring food in on a daily basis or take them shopping for uh, clothes, for school clothes or buying them materials for school or trying to teach them English, whatever it is, or taking them to hospitals or clinics and paying for medication. Whatever that means on a daily basis, that's what I do. So I thank you so much for listening to this video and I would ask that you would prayerfully consider supporting these kids and these families because any money coming to me now is going directly into these communities. And I again just thank you. Please keep us in your prayers. Uh, that God would continue to bless me and keep me safe and also bless these families.